reasons for the reasons of the season is true. Uh, this is what I wake to. They started crawling on this tarp almost immediately. The slug is my worst nemesis out here. I hate these buggers. Come here. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it. Get out. Get out of my tent. I don't mind them on the outside. I just ping them off. But when they get on the inside, part of my French. Get out. Stay out. Ick. Dirty buggers. Any more? No. Uh, slimy buggers. All right. Yeah, slugs are nasty. <laughs> like if you ever get one caught inside, they rot and they smell like um, what was I going to say? A rotten shrimp. But I'm going to let my uh, tarp dry out here under the sun, give it some time, and then I'm going to head out. Now pulling yourself out from underneath there. <laughs> <laughs> and you can look in today yeah, a little harder last night um, lots of light now sun's up sun's out and well this is my backyard for the moment but uh, that did quite well last night um, now I did have the option of well the tent there chose not to um, over just trying to get things done and, and out of the way. Now, here's the advantage <laughs> with the tent. Um, with the tent, of course, you have you're totally sealed in. Um, those slugs, I would only have to worry on the outside, not the inside. One, um, mosquitoes, I wouldn't have to wear a bug net. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, the rain coming in. Ooh, I. Well, they both have an advantage. If there was wind with that rain, that tarp might have been a lot of trouble, and that would have mean me jumping up in the middle of the night to put up a tent. <laughs> uh, I lucked out last night. I mean, it was such a surprise. It said 10% chance. <laughs> But there was a chance, and the rain took it. <laughs> so, and it rained quite heavy for, oh, at least 15 minutes, real hard, uh, maybe longer. So, yeah, how do I look in the morning? <laughs> I slept okay. I uh, woke up when it did start raining a little bit, um, pulling things closer into the middle, away from the edges of the tarp. I think I dried out pretty good last night. Um, not too bad. <laughs> Ah, uh, hey, I'm on my feet though. Don't know how far I'm going to go today. Uh, yesterday was about 30 kilometers. Today, I have a couple of ideas uh, of where I might want to push it to. Uh, maybe further, maybe not. We'll just see how things go up that way. Uh, I am worried about the rain coming up, so we'll see. It's supposed to be around uh, mid afternoon, a uh, bit of showers and stuff come through, so. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'll have to get the gear on. Anywho, Brigadoon, <laughs> and uh, I'm on my way. I'm, I'm, I'm making good pace. Why are there slugs on my earplugs? <laughs> Two, one for each. That would have been horrible to pick that up in the night, try to squish that into my ear <laughs> or something if it got too noisy out here. What are they doing? Oh my lord, that is so gross. <laughs> Leave them alone, you buggers. Uh, I got slug guts on my toe. <laughs> I have to uh, maybe look a little more thoroughly through my sleeping bag to see if I squished a slug in there or when that happened. I did just check my sleeping bag, uh, my sleeping bag right over there. And it looked good. You have to turn it inside and out and stuff. Uh, make sure there's no bugs in there. So another drawback to using a tarp is, uh, well, things get in everywhere. Uh, a tent is a little bit easier. It keeps, you don't have to examine every little thing as you pack it up. Uh, 
So at the end of the day, tarp's easier to set up. Start the day when you're dealing with uh, spring, summer weather, you gotta investigate a lot more thoroughly uh, before getting ready to go. Uh, mm, okay. So, that brown little mark there that looks like uh, dirt, that is slug guts. Slug guts everywhere. So I can't pack that in right now, and the best I can do right now until I find a spot to clean it off is to just let it hit the sun, dry it out. <laughs> oh, okay, fun. Thought I would share that with you. Gross as it can be out here sometimes. Yeah, slug guts. You know, <laughs> given a van or an RV or <laughs> oh, a vehicle or just about anything follow me along would make my journey so much easier <laughs> finding someone to come along and go on these missions with me uh, would be a great feat <laughs> But you do, it, it, moments like this, you wish there was somebody that's just about to pull in, say, come on, Trevor, let's go. Um, doesn't happen out here with me. <laughs> I haven't not yet been able to secure somebody that would come along. Um, it certainly would make a difference, certainly, certainly. Uh, sometimes I've come close to having uh, someone come along, but uh, you know, I think they back out uh, with the understanding of how difficult it actually really would be. Uh, huh. <laughs> so I'm on my own. This is what I have to deal with. At the end of the day, I, after running 30, <laughs> 40 kilometers, more, you got to stop, you got to set up. And before you leave, you gotta put it all back together and put it into that thing. So here I am. <laughs> I might get out of here in an hour, uh, maybe less, because the way you put things together is very important. And um, like I say, with the rain gear, you wanna have that handy when they're calling for rain mid-afternoon. Um, change of footwear. Um, more waterproof boots is what I've chosen uh, as well we'll as I talk about it we can look at them um, we'll put those on with they are on <laughs> you may merino wool socks too I, that's that's what I like um, but for sure you know having a good pair of boots on uh, the more gravel road up ahead uh, rougher shoulders the, the boots are going to be a little bit better than, um, well, barefoot runners. I love the barefoot runners on pavement. <laughs> love them. Um, very comfortable. You can you get that flow. Boots a little bit more awkward, uh, but definitely more stable. So a change of footwear, change in the weather, um, change in terrain. This is what it's all about. Options and adjustments. <laughs> so if this is the only options you got, well, you adjust to it. Uh, if you're wanting to do, well, what I'm doing. <laughs> so anyways, I'll pack it up, pack it in, and let me begin. All right, cheers. Now, as you can see here, I was just right behind this tree, <laughs> kind of out of the view of who may be over there. Um, so that's, you know, quite, quite good there. <laughs> but down here is a little rough terrain coming in. So you want to take it extra cautious. 
because um, I don't want to break a frame here <laughs> or um, it's going to be a much much more difficult journey to Brigadoon if I do um, but yeah <laughs> it kind of reminds me of a story uh, where I heard coyotes one night where I camped in uh, something similar to that something very similar where you came in off a trail um, an area out there sprawled out but I heard coyotes at about uh, 11 o'clock at night and I'm like are they trying to scare me off yeah so I was coming off a trail much like this one and uh, ooh, tough to do this with one hand <laughs> but um, you know from a spot you know much like this you know a trail and uh, right here I found scat from a coyote <laughs> it was telling me to stay out of his area because just the night before at about uh, 11 30 they all started howling around my tent so I'm like yeah they really didn't want me in the area um, now if I look here I am just behind a cemetery so it wasn't a bad place to camp all in all as soon as I seen this it, from the road as you can see the cars their height going by I seen all of this open area in back I'm like you know this would take me way off the highway you know and it would be good good place to uh, set up tent anywhere in there really uh, but I kind of found this little route here and I said hey uh, yeah that might be perfect so that's where I I camped out for the night. <laughs> I'm all packed up, ready to roll. Um, I get back out on this trail. I haven't seen any coyote scat <laughs> on the way, so I should be good. <laughs> uh, oh man, okie dokie, okie dokie. <laughs> oh, a beautiful, beautiful day too. Um, I thought the rain was gonna come midday, but no, it's, uh, I guess it's more around uh, towards evening, so between six and eight. Maybe it'll stay off altogether. Hope so. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me get out of here. Let me get back on the Evangeline. And uh, whew, on my way to Brigadoon and beyond. <laughs> Cheers. That's Lewis Lake. At least I think that's what the sign said. Way over there is some Canadian geese and they're young. <laughs> right here is two bottles of water <laughs> that I picked up from one of the locals here um, and they gave me a donation. Uh, I do have a water filtration system if I want to pump out water out of lakes like that but uh, as I always say life is about options and adjustments and uh, this is a good option so I don't have to make the adjustment of having to pump out <laughs> water out of a lake. Uh, just up the road is Mount Uniac. Uh, I gotta check to see the distance here in a moment. <laughs> uh, but I'm about five kilometers into the day. So I'm about ready for a break, so that came at a good time. Yeah, oh, and uh, of course this is me. <laughs> I gotta show me so that you know that I'm still okay. <laughs> I'm not like going, hey, you know, but uh, I'm doing good. So I guess that's, pretty close to 35 kilometers into the journey to Brigadoon Village. Um, now I got to get there by Saturday. From my place it was 131 kilometers by what it showed on the route. If that's correct, I don't know if it is. <laughs> that's by, by Google's mapping. Uh, seems to be a might be further. Now, when you're coming out of the wilderness, <laughs> This actually reminds me a bit of Northern Ontario. But boy, this is what you want to see. Signs. Signs going into a town. Uh, as you know, <laughs> seriously, that's where your resources are. That's where you, you stock up, you resupply. Oh, and you get ready to keep motoring. Um, these are soft shoulders, I call them soft shoulders. Uh, they're called soft, soft shoulders, where there's gravel. Lots and lots of gravel. Um, you don't get inertia, so whatever I'm pushing here, <laughs> well, this is what I'm pushing here. <laughs> I'm pushing it. <laughs> 
there's there's that there's no inertia <laughs> it doesn't just keep rolling when you stop pushing <laughs> you got to push you got to lean in so hills are extra big and it's like pushing against the wind for all reality <laughs> just pushing and pushing and pushing against the wind <coughs> i think i just swallowed a fly <coughs> i don't know why i swallowed a fly <coughs> perhaps i'll die <laughs> If the hills don't kill me, and the gravel doesn't kill me, and the bugs don't kill me, I'm going to make it into Mount Udiak here, and I'm going to get a few supplies, mainly for right here. <laughs> oh, I think I need a good meal about now. <laughs> Cheers. Pence Lake. Mm -hmm. Well, a little bit of a break. I'm telling you. I'll be honest, my quadriceps are killing me. <laughs> uh, that loose gravel back there, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but I'm still moving along. Um, did have a lady, another lady, stop for a donation as well as a couple of bottles of water. So people are keeping me hydrated along the way. Nice, cold, fresh <laughs> bottle of water. <laughs> oh. I'm going to keep motoring along. Um, I'm kind of anticipating some rain here soon. It's already spattered a little bit, kind of kind of drizzled, barely, but enough to, to give me a warning uh, to get moving. Look here. <laughs> no tarp tonight. Still, I still think there's a chance of rain anyways, but uh, I just want to be in. Uh, shut down a little bit early today yeah. just to give myself a little bit of a rest before I go biggity 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 hello it's me again in the woods <laughs> but uh, I think this is a better option tonight uh, for me looks like a nice quiet spot all around in the woods here here's your panoramic view <laughs> little road that goes up there it's um, it says no uh, hunting, no trapping, no authorized motor vehicles. So, you know, taking a look, I didn't say no camping. <laughs> and it is government land, uh, provincial government, I believe, as I see in the sign. But uh, yeah, way better option, I think, tonight. I want to set this up. Uh, and, but uh, I think I said before, I, I do like these kind right here. Um, I really like the clamps <laughs> where you just clamp right in and up goes. This should take no time flat. Well, this is the tent. <laughs> Fully assembled. I mean, me laying down inside, there's quite a bit of room. <laughs> I mean, immense room. And the thing I like on this tent is the porch. I do like the porch. <laughs> oh, let's see. Look at that. So that's pretty good. <laughs> um, yeah. And of course, uh, my living room is right here. And that gives me plenty and plenty of space in there. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> but no space for mosquitoes. So, uh, you know what? I should close the porch. <laughs> I'll get right at that. Uh, I'm gonna huff some of these in uh, and gather up the rest of the stuff from over there and cozy in. Totally do. <clears throat> See now, <laughs> it's nice to be in out of the rain. <laughs> in tent, no tarp. Uh, I did have a slug. <laughs> at least one that I probably carried along with me from 
the other spot. Hi, just eating, listening to the rain. I probably got food on my lips. Yeah. But anyways, I'm not going to talk too long. I'm going to just listen to the rain. <laughs> but it does help, I think, uh, sometimes if you have the time to set up a tent. A lot of room, a lot of space to stay dry. 